In today's health headlines, a new experimental medication could soon hit the market to help those who suffer from severe depression. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved an experimental nasal spray called esketamine as a new treatment for severe depression. The Johnson & Johnson nasal spray is a variation of the anesthetic ketamine, which is a pain reliever and sedative that was widely abused in the 1980s and 1990s as the street drug Special K. The newly approved drug by the FDA is the first major depression treatment to reach the U.S. market in decades. It is especially effective in patients who have not benefited from at least two different kinds of therapies, also known as treatment resistant depression. A new study finds the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine does not raise the risk of autism and it does not trigger autism in kids who are at risk of it. Those are the conclusions of a study of more than 650,000 children in Denmark. The lead researcher said the idea that vaccines cause autism is still around and is getting a lot of attention on social media. He said they wanted to provide solid scientific answers on the issue. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has ranked the reluctance or refusal to vaccinate despite vaccine availability as a top 10 threat to global health this year. And new parents know all too well how rare a good night's sleep becomes after a baby arrives. A new study found sleep satisfaction and duration sharply declined with childbirth, reaching the lowest point during the first three months after having a baby. And even six years later, parents' sleep still hadn't fully recovered. Both sleep satisfaction and duration were much lower for new moms than for dads.